in this module, we're going to be learning how to double haul. Fantastic for distance. Great for accuracy as well. If we've got higher line speed, we can create tighter loops and slide our flies underneath branches and things like that. Now, before we start learning anything about fly casting, we have to talk about the tackle. This isn't a sales pitch for Sunray gear. This is the gear I use. This is the Sunray Predator 9 foot 8 weight. It's a soft action rod, which gives you lots of shock absorption. It means I can use lighter tippets, present flies better. I hook more fish and I land more fish. Why? Because it bends. It absorbs all the head shakes of a fish and I can bring them in and land more fish. It's as simple as that. They're also a joy to use. So that's why I'm using this rod. Especially if you're casting into a wind and you're hauling heavy fly lines around, you don't want a stiff rod. They can hurt you, they become tiresome, and they're not fun to cast. So that's why I'm using this rod. The line is very important. This is a short head line. Here it is, the Sunray short head, this time in an eight weight. What do I mean by short head? Okay, this head is approximately three and a half to four times the length of the rod. The rod is nine feet long, the head is 35 feet long. Four times nine is 36, approximately the same length as the head of the fly line. Four times the rod length gives you a mid to short head fly line. Why is that good for me? Well, I've got a lot of trees behind me and I wanna show you the line on camera. So I don't want a long line that I have to do a wide angle shot on. I wanna keep it nice and compact so you can see it. So I've chosen a short head. This fly line is also a weight forward fly line. So it means that you've got the head and then you've got the running line. And the running line is very thin. Why is that good? The thinner the running line, the less friction there is in the rings. So it doesn't hold the line back. After all, we're trying to achieve distance, right? So why use a thick double taper fly line if we're trying to get distance? So this is a short head weight forward fly line in an eight weight. Now this fly line has a unique feature, unique to Sunray. It's called an overhang marker. And we're gonna be learning what overhang is and why the overhang marker is so important to get a good cast. Onto the end of my fly line, I've got a tapered leader. Now you need your leader to lay out nice and straight and you need it to be soft so it bends into the current. So we made straight and soft tapered leaders. This one's nine foot. Onto the end of my tapered leader, I've got three foot of hybrid fluorocarbon coated copolymer tippet. It means that I'm not always cutting off the end of my tapered leader and I can alter the length of my tapered leader. So three foot onto a nine foot tapered leader gives me 12 foot overall leader length. Line slick, very, very important. It's a line dressing that you put onto your fly line and it reduces the friction in the guides. Why is that good? We discussed it already with the thin running line to reduce the friction in the guides. There's no point throwing our fly line a long way if the running line or the head of the fly line is holding it back with dirt or grit or anything that's gonna reduce the friction in the guides. Line slick, really, really important. This is a stripping basket. This one's called a flexi stripper. You'll see how I use it later on in the module. 